Hello everyone. Today's session is on mesh analysis with dependent sources. If you observe the circuit, there is one dependent source. It is a current controlled voltage source. Okay. So let us apply mesh analysis. There are three meshes. So if you solve those three equations, we'll get the currents I1, I2, and I3. So let us proceed. Apply KVL2 mesh one. If you observe clearly, I1 is flowing from top to bottom, whereas I2 is flowing from bottom to top. Both are in opposite direction. So it is I1 minus I2 because you are considering that I1 is greater than the remaining current while applying KVL to mesh 1. Similarly, is the, uh, for 12 ohm resistor, so current, common current flowing through this 12 ohm resistor is I1 minus I3. So apply KV will get minus 24 plus I1 minus I2 into 10 plus I1 minus I3 into 12 equals to 0. So you'll get, remove the brackets, you'll get 10 I1 minus 10 I2 plus 12 I1 minus 12 I3. Take the 24 to the other side equals to 24. So you will get 10, 10 I1 plus 12 I1 is 22 I1 minus 10 I2 minus 12 i3 equals to 24 okay or you can divide this equation by 2 or you can write this whole equation divide this whole equation by 2 you will get 11 i1 minus 5 i2 minus 6 i3 equals to 12 this is your equation 1 now apply KVL to mesh 2. Apply KVL to mesh 2. Going to opposite direction, so I can write I2 into 24 plus uh, in 4 ohm, if you observe 4 ohm resistor, I2 and I3 they are flowing in opposite directions and magnitude of I2 is considered to be greater than I, I3 and I1. So the equation will be I2 into 24 I2 into 24 plus I2 minus I3 into 4 plus 10 into I2 minus I1 equals to 0. I2 into 24 plus 4 into I2 minus I3 plus 10 into I2 minus I1. So we will get um, minus 10 I1 plus 24i2 plus 4i2 is 28i2, 28i2 plus 10i2 will get 38i2 minus 4i3 equals to 0. So divide this whole equation by 2, we'll be getting minus 5i1 plus 19i2 minus 2i3 equals to 0. This is your equation 2. Similarly, apply KVL to mesh 3. You will get i3 minus i2 into 4 plus 4i0 four plus 12 into i3 minus i1. 
apply cable to mesh 3 apply KVL to mesh 3 you get 4 into I3 minus I2 plus 4 I0 plus 12 into I3 minus I1 equals to 0. But what is I0? I0 is a current flowing to 10 ohms. If you apply KCL at this node, I1 is entering minus I1. I0 is leaving, so it is positive. I2 is also leaving plus I2 equals to 0 implies I0 is I1 minus I2. Substitute this I1 minus I2 in the place of I0. So we will get 4 into I3 minus I2 plus 4 into I1 minus I2 plus 12 into I3 minus I1 equals to 0. 4 I1 min minus 12 I1 it is minus 8 I1 minus 4 I2 minus 4 I2 it is minus 8 I2 4 I3 plus 12 I3 is 16 16 I3 equals to 0 Again, divide this whole equation by 2, you will get minus, minus 2i1 minus 2i2 plus, sorry, minus, uh, minus i1 minus i1 minus i2 plus 2i3. minus i1 minus i2 plus 2 i3 equals to 0 equation 3 let us verify the equations again Solve all these equations, three equations, you will be getting I1, I1 as 2.25 amperes, I2 as 0 0.75 amperes and I3 as 1.5 amperes. Okay, I naught is nothing but I1 minus I2 that is 2.25 minus 0 0.75. That answer is 1.5 amperes. Thank you.